Hello everyone, going to do a quick video on how to do the first intro setup on the Rocket 5 AC Lite by Ubiquity. So first off, the default IP address is 192.168.1.20, so you need to have your computer on that same subnet before you try and browse it, ping to it, or whatever. I've already set that up ahead of time. So browse to the device. Um, I'm going to change the default username and password are UBNT. You have to select your country. Have to agree to the terms of use. Login. Basically, it tells you to change your password. Just close that for now. First thing you want to do is go to your settings go to your network so the first thing I want to do is I want to change it to static so I'm gonna put it on my local network so I can update the firmware so save changes see it's gonna force you to put in a new password before it lets you change anything And you have to meet password requirements. So basically, I have a combination of uh, letters, numbers, and another character uh, to make it more secure. And then change. And then you want to save changes. And then it will publish. So it'll change those, uh, make it the new IP. And it should reboot. And come up on the new IP. Once it does that, I have um, actually three subnets on my LAN settings static, so I could do these changes and get it on my local network, apply the firmware, and then get it on the network for the customer. But for now, so basically that's the IP I changed it to. I'm using Chrome, so it's giving me a little warning because it says it's not not private, not safe. So, anyways put in your new password that you just saved, log in. Now you're going to come up on the new IP and it's going to, if you have internet on this network, which is what you want to do first, put it on the, so basically I have a, my first network that I'm staticking it to is my local network in the lab where I have internet so I can update the firmware. So basically it tells me uh, the old version is 8.0.2 and the firmware update is to 8.5.4 so download watch the progress bar here set the agree which is a long spiel da -da 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 -da, like we're gonna read all that anyways agree alright so now update it will do its thing and so the first thing you want to do is update you know how many ever of these units you have actually I have four of them for a, a multi-point setup so I'm actually doing these one two three four And just let it go through. This one seems to be taking a little bit longer, but um, maybe that's just because I'm recording the video. <laughs> the 
the first one was actually pretty quick is what it seemed like. I still, I have the same internet and everything. All I did is put this on a different IP. But um, as long as it's progressing, just let it go. And actually, I can go to one of the others, so now oh, it finished. So now you log in again. And your interface, this looks a lot different than what the other one did. Um, so right now, the only thing I've done is just static set the IP of this unit. haven't matched it up to the other unit or not. I'm just changing the IPs. So all this first video is just to change the IPs. So if we go and look, um, everything's set to auto right now. Um, so I don't have any security, don't have nothing. So basically we have two units, both the same um, with the newer version. So let's go to the dashboard actually. Where would it tell us? Oh, it shows the version up at the top window, the V854. So 854 there, 854 there. So both of both of these are on the new local network with the firmware upgraded. Thank you, and have a great day.